Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today's Cryptic Crossword Masterclass. Uh, Simon is on some sort of uh, extended birthday binge, so the job of solving a cryptic crossword falls to me today, which is always a pleasure. Uh, what I will do, last time I did this, there were some suggestions people would like to see me do a puzzle at speed. Um, I did one on Patreon, in fact, but this time... I'm going to go through today's Times Cryptic Crossword uh, slowly, basically, to show you what I'm thinking and how all the clues work one by one. What I might do, actually, at the end of the video is uh, have a go at yesterday's crossword, which I haven't tried yet, at speed, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe, you know, then I could explain the clues afterwards. So. Um, I'll put some chapters on the video so you can jump to the last, whatever it is, 15 minutes or so and watch the second crossword. But um, today's times... Now, Simon always checks the snitch rating to find out how hard they're going to be. I don't like to do that. I just like to surprise myself. So today's times, number 28,625. Um, and no idea what we're going to find, but let's get cracking and see how it goes. So, one across. Returning explorer in charge of filling ship, a cutter. Well, the first clue, is, well, the first hint is that we're always going to be looking for short synonyms. Now, the first thing I immediately thought when I saw explorer was Dora, but that won't appear in a Times crossword. It's not that style of puzzle. So, polo might be an explorer in charge of... Of in charge of can be um, abbreviated to IC filling ship. Yes, okay, so there's a returning bit, and a ship can be SS, the old abbreviation for steamship, I think, originally. It may have changed to meaning something else now. Um, and if we've got something backwards ending in IC. Ending in IC, inside SS. Well, it suddenly occurs to me we could end up with scissors, which is a cutter. Um, the singularity or plurality of scissors is much debated. But the explorer now is Ross, who obviously is named, after whom obviously, is named the Ross Strait. Um, so Ross IC is returning. That's the explorer in charge of. All returning to give us... C I W S O R. We fill S S with it and we get a cutter. So let's have a look at two down. Drop jokes, etc. Almost all personal. I don't know what's going on there. Drop is an odd word. Drop jokes, etc. What are jokes, etc.? Repartee or banter? Um, no, I don't know what's happening there. So we'll try three down. I don't normally spend very long on a clue if I can't work out at least how to parse the wordplay. Three down. No good for wife of brother to display fortitude. Well, that looks a bit to me. NG is an abbreviation for no good and W for wife. So if we find a word for brother with a W in it, which we could replace with an NG, that would be obeying the wordplay. And then we're going to either need fortitude as the synonym for the answer or to display fortitude strength yes okay strength has an ng in it and it means fortitude now what word would we be replacing w with ng in well that would be struth with a w there and now how can struth mean brother you're wondering well they're both kind of just exclamations of my goodness Struth is quite Australian. God's truth, I think it was originally. And uh, and brother is just... I don't know why people say, oh, brother, but apparently they do. I've never heard anybody say it. Four down. Um, Kilometre trails go from suburbs, always ending in city. So I'm immediately looking at the endings of words. Um... And I, yeah, I, it, it has helped, and I have worked out what the answer is, but I don't quite know how the clue works. Okay, kilometre can be abbreviated to KM, but it can also just be K, as in a 10K run. 
Um, so if the abbreviation for kilometer, which in this case is K, is going to trail um, the always ending parts of go from suburbs, which are OMS, then you get Omsk, um, which is a city in Russia on the Trans-Siberian Railway. For some reason, when I was young, maybe it was part of a song, there was always... There was a little mantra my grandfather would mention about Omsk, Tomsk, and Irkutsk. I don't know why, but there you go. Just probably because they're crazy names to a British uh, sensibility. Right, let's have a look down at five down. Muslim, I hate, I hesitate to say, is more cheerful. More cheerful. So we're looking for a comparative. This is almost certainly the definition. And... Uh, Cheerful, beginning with an S, well, I did immediately think of sunny. So sunnier would be more cheerful, would fit the seven length that we're given. And a Sunni is a Muslim, and er can be, I hesitate to say. It's a sign of hesitation to say er or um. So there we go, sunnier. And now we're getting on very well. Ten across. One's certainly not quietly reflecting. Give time to. I have to admit that the first word I thought of when I even looked at this space before looking at the clue was imprison. Um, and although I don't think I'd have thought of that when reading this clue without the letters in the grid, it could be a synonym for give time to. If you give someone time, which can mean a prison sentence, then you imprison them. So I think that's the right answer. I now have to work out why one's certainly not quietly reflecting. Oh, yeah, okay, so one's is I'm. That's pretty tricky. One is becomes I'm because occasionally, especially in this country, posh people talk about themselves as one. It's a sort of weird form of modesty that comes across as not modesty because only posh people do it. Um, but anyway, ones translates to I'm in this clue. Certainly not translates as no, sir. <laughs> um, and P for quietly, that's a musical instruction, piano. And uh, that's all reversing after I'm and you get in prison. Um, I'm going to have a quick look at two down now. I've got this M in it. I'm not sure I'm going to understand it yet. Drop jokes, etc. I can't think of anything relevant for the drop, which is probably, probably has a short synonym here. Um, and I don't know what's going on at all in this clue. No, I'm, I'm really at sea on that one. The others have been okay though. So I don't think this is that hard a puzzle overall, is my impression. Let's have a look at nine across. Sealed informal refusal to stop nude rambling. Okay, that's all right. Now, as soon as I saw informal refusal, that seems to be a kind of way of saying a slang way of refusing somebody. And the only version of no that is fairly standard in British English that you would consider slang is nope. So if you return that, oh no, it's not even, you don't return it, sorry. You just write it in this word, Nude rambling. Rambling looks like an anagram indicator. That's why we've got this helpful four-letter word, nude. We're just going to use its letters, rambled around, as it were, put nope in them, and we get unopened. And that means sealed, like a letter. Um, right, let's have a look at 11 across. Need a key to set loose helpless viewer. As soon as I see viewer, I'm thinking about I, especially as we have a five, three enumeration, something's I. Uh, yes, there's an anagram, isn't it? You can set loose the phrase need a key and take out the I, E, Y, E part of that. Oh, well, we had an anagram of nude a moment ago. Now we've got something anagramming to naked in this clue, but it's no, it's not clothesless. It's a naked eye, no spectacles. Right, six down. Skin blemish. Oh, that could be pock, couldn't it? A pock mark is a 
skin blemish. Skin blemish to be somehow unacceptable, we note down here. Well, what begins with POC and is 10 letters? And you might note down something here. I think that's pocketbook. Yeah, there was more anagramming in this. Um, after the POC, we have to be somehow. So an anagram of to be, E-T-B-O in this case. And then we get acceptable, which is OK. And we note down something in our pocketbook. Again, we're going a little bit back in time. I'm not sure how often people carry around pocketbooks these days. Let me know if you do. Um, and we move on to seven down. Popular expectation, ultimately wild all round, is confounded. Well, I'll tell you the sort of things I'm thinking. I don't know the answer yet, actually. But the sort of things I'm thinking are that popular is very often in. Um, as in a fad that's in at the moment. And that would really work in seven down, in at the beginning. Expectation is often hope. Um, ultimately wild. Well, ultimately very, I mean, almost always means use the last letter. Now, it could be expectation, comma, ultimately, which gives us the letter N. Or it could be ultimately wild, which gives us the letter D. Um, so we're looking at in something, I think we're probably looking at a D. I was expecting to put hope in it, but there are other um, synonyms for expectation. And I don't actually know what the answer is to this still. Confounded could often be a, an anagram indicator, but I think in this clue it's the definition. Because I'm so sure that popular is wordplay. And the definition will always be at one end or the other. Let's have a look at eight down. Sticking, well, adhesive and adherent both spring to mind, given what's in the grid. Poster, that can be an ad. Chap, that can be he. Has torn, so that's rent. If you rend something, you tear it. So torn can be rent. And then we get adherent, not adhesive. Let's have a look at 14 across. I would catch cold. Never again. I don't know what this is. ID is what I'm immediately thinking for I would. Um, never again. An emphatic denial. I would normally be thinking nope, but we've only just had that in nine across. So no, I don't know what's going on there either. Let's move to 12 across. Oh, we haven't looked at this. Right, most daring. Interestingly, it looks like it could end in EST, the answer. To draw on money, then skint on vacation. Well, on vacation can be used very cleverly in crosswords to refer to the, the word that it's next to being vacated, having all its central letters removed. So that would give us ST, skint on vacation. Most drawing to, to draw on, to drag if you draw on a cigarette. <clears throat> But now I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm sure it ends in EST. Money has so many synonyms that it's a very hard word to focus on in the clue. I'd either like to get this from the definition most daring or from to draw on, but I'm not getting it. So we'll move on to 15 across, which has an H in the middle of a word that looks a bit like the... 15. Heading for success within month, euphoric. Well, this is a very neat hidden. Um, within is telling you to look within the words month euphoric. And if you do look within them, you find on the up, which is, I think that's very neatly hidden because it doesn't sound anything like the pronunciation of month euphoric on the up. But that, yet those letters are hidden in that order within there. Heading for success on the up. 17 across, policeman, one with crowd, giving help to direct. Well, I mean, the first synonym I think of for a policeman is cop. I have actually recently seen both plod and bobby in um, crosswords, but this time I think we're okay with cop, especially given the O there. One with crowd, giving help to direct. Well... One with crowd, okay, you might be able to get it from that. But I, having put cop into the word and then pronouncing it differently, I can see co-pilot, which is help to direct a plane particularly. 
And one with crowd then becomes I with lot, which is a perfectly reasonable pair of translations. So we'll go back to seven down. Ah, it didn't end in a D. So infernal? Yes, confounded could be infernal. Um, just as a strengthening word. Um, a confounded nuisance is an infernal nuisance. Now, why does that fit with, yes, feral is wild. So it is the last letter of expectation with feral around wild after in for popular. And infernal is the answer there. Quick look at 14 down. We're not going to get any more help from the grid with this. I would catch cold never again. Well, once, I suppose, might define never doing something again if you're only doing it once. And there it is, yes, I is one again. Maybe not, I mean, it could be a Roman numeral translation just as much as the translation in Ten Across of a posh person talking about themselves. But that's the answer there. Two down. I've got an N at the end, and I still don't know what's going on here. Complain would fit, but I don't see how that to drop is not to complain. I don't think. Oh, own can be personal as an adjective. So comedy is jokes, etc. That's perfectly reasonable. So comedy almost gives us C-O-M-E-D and then personal gives us own. And then this drop is a come down, which I hadn't predicted at all. It's very neatly done. I, what I do like in this puzzle, just as a matter of technique for crossword constructors is that in many of these answers the pronunciation of what you're given in the word play is different from the pronunciation of what you get in the answer and I think that's always impressive so come down has almost no sound in common with the word comedy well no vowel sound in common with the word comedy so I think that's very even own is pronounced differently in the final answer from own in the clue. We saw it with month euphoric and on the up, very little in common in the pronunciation, and even cop and co-pilot there. So that just makes it a bit harder, a little bit more of a, a neural leap for the solver to figure out why that wordplay contributes to that solution. And pretty good technique for clue writing, I would say. It's just literally more enjoyable for the solver. Now, I'm just going to go back to this more daring. Ah, okay, so I suddenly realised, how can we get so many letters into a superlative before est? And one way is by having a big old vowel combination. Of course, O-U-G-H would help. And now I've thought of the word doughtiest. I don't, not a very common word, doughty, for... Um, brave or steadfast or daring, but it is a word. And money can be dough. To draw can be tie. And what I'd forgotten is that in the Times crossword, especially on, certainly in an across clue, is always used to put the thing that comes before on after the thing that's mentioned after on. So in this case, we're putting tie on dough, and that means after it. And we get doughtiest. And there we go. We've done the top half. Let's move into the bottom half. 13 across has two check letters. One turned agonizingly from gang after attempts to get picked up. Well, agonizingly looks like an anagram indicator. One turned. So we could anagram either O-N-E turned, but we've seen several times in this crossword one is I. Um, so it may be I turned, um, and I don't know, thumbing, if you thumb for a lift, you're attempting to get picked up, that, oh, okay, it's nothing to do with anagramming one turned, that is literally another definition in a way, um, in fact, one turned agonizingly is the definition of the answer in this puzzle. Surprisingly, quite a lot there. The gang is the last four letters. We need another word for gang. And attempts to get picked up. So that's the verb. If you try to get picked up, you thumb a lift. So you 
Thumbs is attempt to get picked up. The gang is a crew. And a thumb screw is one turned agonizingly, a torture implement. Right, let's have a look at these other downs. We've got all the first letters, often, of course, the most important letter. 15 down begins with an O. Least intelligent pupil, previously useless in exam. Well, least intelligent, the first word I can think of that would fit this space, beginning with O, is ob obtusist. That's quite hard to pronounce. Um, how would that work? Well, it does work. Pupil previously is OB, which is an abbreviation for old boy. Um, who knows who uses these abbreviations? And then useless. I think it's army slang. US was an abbreviation for useless. We put that in a test and we get our obtusist, which I was aiming for. Let's try 16 down, beginning with a T. His return now would make him wealthier or poorer. That's interesting. I don't know what's going on there. His return now would make him wealthier or poorer. The something. The devil in some way? No, I don't know what's going on there. I'll move on to 18 down, beginning with an I. Saw with difficulty through this unusual frameless door window. Well, frame frameless can mean without the outsides. So if we take out the D and the W from door window, we're left with eight letters, which if we make them unusual, might potentially give us an answer that has an I at the beginning. But those are terrible letters, except they could make ironwood. Oh, okay, that you could saw with difficulty through ironwood. So it's a beautiful clue in a way. The clue reads on the surface very much as though you're looking through this door window and you see with difficulty through it, past tense saw. But in fact, through ironwood, you would saw with great difficulty. I think ironwood is what is now normally called ulin from uh, Indonesia and the like, and is an incredibly hard black wood. Um, yes, I wouldn't like to be sawing through ironwood, I'll admit. 19 down. He passed on one note out of habit. <sighs> he passed on. See, there is a Latin abbreviation ob or obit, which means he died. So that, because of the O that I've got in the grid, that seems regular, but there's not a lot of clue left after he passed on. Out of habit is probably the definition. The question mark means maybe you need to take out of habit in a non-literal manner. So I'm thinking about someone no longer a monk or something or a cleric. I don't really know what the answer is. Maybe you do. Let's have a look at the acrosses. We've generated a few checking letters. Message of note by journalists ending. Um, well, journalists ending is a T, and that's already in the grid. So we need to put a note or of note beside it to get a message, I would think, but I don't know what that message is. Four letter message with a T at the start. I read text. That's a note. Well, it's a message, even better than a note. Why is this text? Oh, I know, because note can be a T. Oh, I absolutely botched the uh, sol fa scale last time, didn't I? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, T. T, E is one of the spellings of that T. By is X in this, because if you multiply something by something else, you use the time symbol. And then the journalist ending comes at the end, and we do get text. Each week, says 22 across, finally, husband wears shirt for work with suit. Right, each. I did think when I read each week that that would be the definition. I don't anymore, 
because week finally looks like it's giving me the K that I've got in the grid. Now I remember that each can be abbreviated to EA, so we're splitting up each week. We're lifting it out of the clue and separating it. E-A-K in the middle, so break. Oh, bleak actually is possible. Bleak house would fit. So, each week, finally, E-A-K, husband, can be H. And then a blouse can be a shirt. Now, you may be thinking, but a blouse is a woman's top and a shirt is a man's top. But I think that a blouse can be defined as a type of shirt. And now, bleak house has to be work with suit. Ah, and the suit in that is Jarndyce v. Jarndyce, the legal case that drags on forever and uh, renders life miserable for everybody involved in it, hence Bleak House. Uh, I'm not claiming I've read Bleak House. I haven't. Let's have a look at 23 across. Muscles displayed by four dozen rugby players. Well, rugby players, there are some short names for rugby players. Prop, hooker and lock are the ones that spring to mind. Now, locks would fit here, but I can't associate that with muscles myself. Muscles displayed by four dozen. That's 48 rugby players. That's more than three full teams of rugby players. What on earth is this? Four dozen rugby players. I don't know what's going on here. If you know muscles that fit this definition. Of course, no, backs. Backs are other rugby players. That's a more generic term rather than a specific position. Okay, that's more likely perhaps. Muscles, but four dozen is a very odd number. Ah, you have... No, there's not, it's not locks or backs. It's different rugby players. There are eight rugby players in a scrum, so 48 um, of those would form six packs, and those are muscles. That's a very clever and very funny clue, especially given the length of time and the uh, convolutions I've gone through trying to work it out. So the, the people who form the scrum are called the pack, and there's eight of them. Six lots of those are four dozen rugby players. Brilliant. That's very funny. Okay, let's have a look at 25 across. Appear to have finished scan. Well, finished is over, and that will fit as the second word here. Look over might be scan, and to look can mean to appear. If it looks fishy, it probably is. That, that's probably right. There might be other four-letter four synonyms for appear that would form scan with over. So I'm just going to retain a tiny little uncertainty about that. Oh, I've only just noticed this double X in a word. What the heck is this going to be? I cannot think of anything. Oh, tax exile. Right, let's have a look at the clue now. His return now would make him wealthier or poorer. Well, it is tax exile, because that's clearly being referred to in the clue, and nothing else could fit that uh, structure. But why? Exit? No. Tax exile. Why would his return... Well, tax exile's return... Oh, his tax return. I think it's suggesting that if he return that if the per the tax exile returned from tax ex tax exile, he would be poorer because he would have to pay tax. But his return, his tax. No, maybe it's suggesting that his return from exile would make him wealthier because he could then spend his money. Is that right? But if he submitted his tax return, he would be poorer. I don't know. I think it's it's certainly getting at all that. And it's it's almost certainly very clever. I don't fully understand it because my understanding of a tax exile is he's probably submitting returns in his tax exile place, like Monaco. Um but he's just paying less tax on it. So I don't know, maybe I'm too much of an accountant for that clue to be fun. Let's have a look at 19 down. He passed on 
one note out of habit. Well, my idea of ob is looking less good, but obsolete would fit. Yes, it's that same note again. Here's T again. I don't think it's great form to use the same abbreviation or, or short synonym twice in a puzzle, but here we have it. Uh, one or one note is a sole T, and that's coming after OB, he passed on, and obsolete is out of habit. If you're out of the habit of using a word, it's obsolete, I suppose. Not just etymology, not just vocabulary. 20 down, reveal cricketer has time for golf. We've already had one technical sporting position. We get another one here. This looks like let slip to reveal. And a cricketer can be a slip. Oh, no, a cricketer can be a leg slip. And he's getting a T in place of his S and becoming let slip. Leg slip is a very rare position, but there was a catch taken in the recent test match at leg slip. Now, 26 across. Ireland's legal system blocking appeals by one. Ireland's legal... I don't know what... The I at the end of this is quite surprising. Maybe we are looking for an island. And the appeals, they could be SO... Oh, well, the fact that I've started to think about SOS as an appeal has made me think about putting an S in this position. That, in turn, has made me think about Sulawesi, which is an island in Indonesia, which gets a second mention in this puzzle. Um, and indeed, where ironwood grows. But how is this Sulawesi law for the legal system? Yes, and law is blocking the word sues. If you sue for something, you are... a making an appeal. Wow. So there we go. Sulawesi. Good general knowledge if you knew that. 27 across. Multicoloured trousers. A boy took off. It's a beautifully worded clue. Um, and we have to deconstruct it quite strongly. It sounds obviously like some very bright uh, trousers or pants removed by a boy. But I think in this case, we're looking for a word meaning multicoloured that is then going to trouser or pocket or sort of surround a boy. And parodied is a word defined by took off. If you take something off, you parody it. Now, that is giving us pied, an old word for multicolored, like a magpie was so called, or the pied piper, because they were multicolored. And that's trousering a rod. Why is Rod a boy? I suppose because he's Rodney or Roderick. And we'll have a look at 24 down. Sound made by small hole in bucket. Well, that's not simple either, but I think the answer is pour. Because if rain buckets down, it's pouring. So to pour is to bucket. Normally you would think of a pail or something for a bucket, but here I think it's pour. And why is that sound made by a small hole? Because a small hole in your skin is a pore, P-O-R-E, and the sound of pronouncing that gives you poor. So I think this is an incredibly um, well-worked puzzle. I loved six-packs for some reason more than anything else, but there's a lot of brilliant clues in this. Um, and I'm going to submit that as the answer and see if it's correct. I hope I haven't made any typos. They are always possible. No, this is the right answer. No errors. Now, let's have a look at the times. I am guessing that someone like Verlaine or... Who, who will normally have submitted by now, would have done this. He's a very, very fast solver in about six minutes, maybe six and a half. It struck me as, although very clever, not very, very difficult. And there he is, Verlaine, seven minutes, 34. Phenomenally good time. Um, and very impressive there's my time coming in at 22nd of the people who've done it that's because i'm still quite early in the morning i would be aiming to be on or around verlaine's time on a normal day now i said that when we got this done and there's the answer we might go back and have a speed run at uh thursday's puzzle 28624 so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna click on it go through as fast as I can, and then explain what I may not have got to in the clues, which will probably be plenty. So let's have a go, just so you can see what it's like. Great. 
graceful feeling I'm not standing up for it. no okay that is some sort of Elands made contact not sure 12 clumsy English member inelegant there we go okay that's in ant around e leg let's have a look at four down American doc city doctor retired I see Omaha ten across sangria one down let's see if we can get that now graceful female I don't know. Some tune heard in Garden Feature. Okay, I'm getting frustrated now. Um, dejected. The gutless lefty must be made to feel good. Isles Cove, ultimately suitable for Cleric's Bolt Hole. Wow, this is a harder puzzle. Okay, that's Sashimi. Anagram, thank you. Watchfulness of soldier with weapon. Yeah, vigilance is watchfulness. Useful definition. 21 down. In king, popular monarch is writing. Waterways cold with awful smell. Creek Dawson's, for instance. As, as is the definition there, and it's not pronounced as. Noted player as such, entertained by Greek character... Musician, I suppose. Yes, looks like it. 26 down. Leisurely. Reefer. Easy. Oh, that's hard. Isles Clove. Immediately suitable. Ultimately. Mance. Whoa. 15 across. River Maiden, perhaps. Rover. Yes, it is. Cricket again. Parterre is the garden feature. The gutless lefty. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I know what the end of the word play is giving. One waited for is Godo. 23. Home for type down below. Don't know. Old lover X offers to supply bits of letters. Extenders. Right. 24 down. What sounds like pure island? White, yes, the Isle of White. Okay, 26 across. Good relations eating gherkin. <laughs> Pickled food, pretty specific. Number, any number is needed for game. Home for type down below. Lower case, yes. More printing, two of them. Disciple, maybe. Getting on. Sturgeon, this must be. Don't quite understand why, but it must be. Stuff, ramshackle, okay. We'll get to that in the explanations. Holy hill in which is buried male disciples. Simon, you're in the puzzle yesterday, Simon. Log over canal. That probably is not eardrum. I think I'm assuming too much. Uh, eight down. Grumble about national organisation. Montanan, it is. Whoa. Okay, it wasn't eardrum. Log. Enter. On. Oh, gosh. Plant disease, therefore, end of plant. Ergo T. Seven down. Band of robbers, maybe go north of the border. Is this long ago? Yes, it is. Um, right. Now, this is flattered. Yes, it is. This is. Worker perhaps cutting small. I think that's insect, yes. Sorry, I didn't read court. A condition about to be, it must be so safe. Is this fireproof? Yes, it is. And then we have two to finish off at the start. Graceful os fossil. Why? Don't know. It is lissom, okay. And rangelands, there we go, that's the answer. And that puzzle is done in just under five minutes. 
Ooh, okay, let me try and explain some of what I was doing there. So you, actually, let's just have a quick look at the times. How did Verlaine do on this one? Um, well, Aphis 99, Andy Fisher is in at 5.31, Verlaine 6.11. So I can be quite happy with a 4.55 time on that. Let's just have a look at the puzzle again and some of these clues. So I probably haven't explained anything because I really have been trying to go as fast as I could. Let's look at one across. A condition about to be attached to top of building, that is, if is the condition, that's put about to give you FI. Um, to be attached to is to rep. If you rep someone, you're their agent, you're attached to them. And roof is the top of building. Uh, nine across, desire is to long, silver is AG, ring is O, long ago. Ten across, sangria, sang, if you celebrated, um, if you sang someone's praises, you celebrated them. Song about is air reversed. Eleven, ergot is a plant disease. Twelve was e leg in, in ant. Thirteen was difficult, log to enter something, and then over is on. Uh, 15 referred to a maiden over in cricket, R for river. 17, mance, that's quite an unusual vocabulary word. The isle is man, so mans, and then cove ultimately gives us an E. And it's a suitable for cleric's bolt hole. I mean, a manse is where uh, uh, some sort of vicar used to live. Um, 18, Simon, Sion is the holy hill and M is buried in it. Godot, someone waited for in the play by Beckett. Game is go, party is do and time is tea. 20, Sashimi was an anagram. 23, home for type down below. I don't understand home for yet. Um... Oh, yes, I do. OK, it is very a very literal printing reference. Uh, back at school, I got involved with old style printing with um, drawers of of letters. And the reason uppercase and lowercase are so called is because the capitals always used to be in a different um, drawer full of type letters. And that was higher than the lowercase small letters. And that's what this clue is literally saying. It's a cryptic definition. That the home for the, for the typeface down below was the lowercase. Um, 25. Creek. Reek is an awful smell. 27. Relations were kin and it's G kin eating her. 28, AS is the definition, the chemical symbol for arsenic, and the rest is an anagram. 29 was X for the old lover, and tenders for offers to supply. And extenders are the bits that go under the line on, on lowercase letters. One down, fossil... Yeah, no, one, yeah, where's one down the clue? So this was lissom F without M, and it's standing up. And that gets you an oldie or a fossil. Two down, made contact, rang elands. I didn't know the word rangelands, so I had to learn that from the clue and the, and the grid. Three down, part air, part of an air, part air. And if you hear that, you get a part air, which is part of a garden. Four down, MO is the doctor, medical officer, returned for OM and IC is aha. Five down was flat, the gutless, so the without its guts becomes just te, lefty is a red. Six down was caught is C in inset, a small photograph put into a bigger picture. Seven down to go in Scotland or indeed in, in uh, Newcastle would be to gang. Eight down... Moan around NT, the National Trust, a national organisation supported by A and N for new. You get someone from Montana, a very pretty state. 14 down, ramshackle. So ram is to stuff. Top of shed, left. 
Oh no, the shed is shack. Ellie is left half abandoned, and you get this word ramshackle meaning derelict. 16 is GI and Lance after V and I for one. 17 down, the noted player is a musician. As such is Sik, S-I-C, entertained by a Greek character, Mu, uh, a character as in a letter, and Ian, a classical Scotsman's name. 18 was Sturgeon. Now, how did that work? Disciple, I thought disciple would be son and desire would be urge, but I think I'm missing something there. <clears throat> Disciple may be getting on with desire. Yeah, I can't quite see why that is the case, actually. Dis what's the disciple there? I don't know. I don't quite understand that clue. How is the T getting into this? I can sort of see urge. I can see sun. Um, no, there's some, some longer word that's got a replacement in it, and I'm not quite understanding that. To catch. Oh, to urge on, maybe. No, I don't, I'm not seeing where the T comes from, sorry. Not quite understanding that. I'll come back to it in a moment. 21, in King gave us writing, inking. 22, number, 10, any number, N, in a math mathematical equation, and that is, and you get tennis. Um, right, 24 down, white, a homophone for W-H-I-T-E, pure. 26 down, this is a bit cruel, leisurely. If you do something easy, you do it in a leisurely manner. It can be an adverb. The reefer is a reference to the character Midshipman Easy in the books by Marriott? I don't know. No, I've probably misremembered who's done the books about Midshipman Easy. Um, and goodness knows when they're from. But the reefer there even is a very obscure term for a midshipman. That is an extremely difficult reference to pick up for anybody new to this. Now I'm going back to Sturgeon. Disciple may be getting on with desire to catch fish. Oh, I see, a saint is a disciple. Right, so Jesus' disciples included Saint Paul and Saint Luke. Not an apostle, but a disciple, Saint Mark, and so on. Um, so disciple, maybe, is just giving us ST. And then it's getting on with urge. Not necessarily in that order, but the whole thing is giving us, allowing us to catch a fish. Wow, I mean that's unless desire to cat or uh, desire to catch his urge on. I don't quite know if the on in the clue is the on in the answer or not, but there we go. Um, at least I've understood where the T comes from in the disciple bit. And that was Thursday's crossword as well. A little bit of a bonus for our masterclass. Thank you as always for watching and hope to see you again on the channel. Well, I'll be back with more Sudoku later, but thanks for watching. Bye for now.